Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. In today's video, uh, it's probably going to be shocking for some because I'm going to make a, a revelation, um, I guess if you will. For a very long time, for the last number of years, I've listed the Plasson or Plasson style knot as my favorite brush. Um, we've, I've called it the brush of the gods. And, and um, it wasn't only me that was sort of trumpeting the success of this brush and the greatness of it. There are people like Brian Sharp, Busta, and there are others. Um, but I have to tell you, during my hiatus from doing videos um, some months ago, I started trying some other things and um, it dawned on me that you guys were right. Um, a lot of the things you said were true and uh, I'm just going to list um, some of the reasons that got me to come around to your way of thinking. Um, a lot of you have said the Plasson sucks. And I don't mean that as the brand, let's just use the knot style. The Plasson style knot sucks. And, and I gotta tell you, um, I'm inclined to agree with you uh, at this point. And I'm gonna give you some reasons why. Starting with this. When you drag that over your face, it feels luxurious. It is so soft, it, it just, I mean, it feels great. That sucks. It really sucks. The next thing that comes to mind, this brush or this knot inspired all kinds of lower priced brushes. For example, you had this uh, Nathan Clark style knot that came around and, and what this was was sort of an answer to people who didn't like the floppiness of the Poisson. So, this one has a bit more backbone, so people really enjoyed it. That sucks. Who wants a lower cost alterna alternative? I mean, it sucks. You had the ability to take these relatively cheap knots and put them in these great wolf whiskers handles, and you didn't have so much invested in a brush. That sucks. Sucks. Face it, nobody wants that. And another thing. It doesn't smell. You take it out of the box, it doesn't smell. It sucks. I want some stanks on my brush. You gotta get that horsehair funk, that badger funk, that boar funk. There ain't no funk in the Plasson. It's soulless too. And it sucks. You had a lot of low cost brushes came about such as the Shave Revolution user. I mean, who wants to pay between $20 and $30 for a great brush? That sucks. I'd rather pay $150 and $200 for a brush that um, probably doesn't even measure, measure up in performance just because it makes me feel better to have bought that brush. It sucks to have these low cost options. I don't even want to get into the Razor Rock Plea Soft a $10, $12 brush that's great. You can literally scrounge up the money for a Razor Rock Police Soft in your couch cushions and get a brush. That sucks. Nobody wants a fine brush for 10, 12 bucks. Nobody wants that. Sucks. I, we want to go back to the old days of synthetics where we bought mulas that, you know, if you got the low end, the HJM, it was like 40 bucks, 30 to 40. And if you got the entry level mula, it was like 60. We want to go back to those days. We don't want to pay. $20 for a Sterling Kong or 22 or 25 what why should we pay 20 for a huge brush like this when we can pay 60 this sucks these kind of options suck we want to go back to the old way all of you guys were right about the Plasson it sucks it brought about all these inspired all these brushes like this Rudy Ve custom with the Plasson knot put in this other shave revolution brush with the Plasson style knot. Do we really need all these options at a low cost? This sucks. Let's just go back to the old days where we spent $60 and above for brushes that did nothing more than these. Sounds like a good plan to me. How about you?